Hey again, everyone. It's Zoe here as part of our Teams team at Microsoft. When I start to think about my own to-do list, my whole brain kicks into hyperdrive. And that list doesn't even scratch the surface of managing tasks for a whole team. And it gets even more hectic when you expand that to a frontline team, which can be the size of a small village, or at least feel like that. And today, we're going to take a look at how you can run your team more smoothly with tasks and teams by giving you a seamless tool to create, assign, and track complex tasks in real time. Let's take a look at how you can start using tasks and teams today. Start by clicking the three dots on the left pane, scrolling through or searching for tasks by planner and to do, and then click the icon to open. The top part of the task app is where you can see your tasks, what you created, what you've been assigned by someone else. And the bottom part is where all the shared plans live or all the tasks assigned for a given team. To create a new shared task plan, select plus new list or plan. Simply give the task plan a name and then select the team and the channel within that. Click create. Voila you have a plan to start adding some tasks to. Starting in the board view really lets you set up your groups for success with completing their tasks. In this view, the default bucket is to do. You can leave that as is or rename it by hovering over the right side above the taskbar and selecting the three dots that appear and choose to rename it to something else. To create additional groups, select add new bucket and enter a name. Repeat that as many times as you need. To add a task, click Add Task and give it some basics like a name, a due date, and assign an individual. If you want to add even more details to set up your team for success with some more detailed instructions on how to complete the tasks, add things like priority, maybe some notes, a checklist, or even include an attachment to give you some more rich details. When you're ready, close the task by clicking the X in the upper right hand corner and your, all your updates will be saved. You can continue to add tasks. And if you happen to add a task in the wrong bucket, you can easily just click and hold the task to drag it over and drop it into the right place. Now the two other views to add tasks to are lists, which shows all the tasks your teams need to complete with indicators for things like what's a priority, what's in progress, and more. And schedule, which allows all tasks to live in a calendar, either for a given month or a week and you can drag tasks around to fit that schedule. The last thing I want to show you is the charts view, which is the best place to see how your team is progressing and completing their tasks in real time. It shows the progress by task status, bucket, priority, and team member. Seeing this can help you understand where the team may be behind to manage tasks accordingly by assigning more people to help. There are so many ways to use tasks to help manage what your team needs to get done. So try it out today. And of course, be sure to subscribe and discover more ways to use Microsoft Teams.